Hi, my name is Fred DeSimone with Hapco Incorporated, and today I'm going to be demonstrating our X11 molding chamber. One of the biggest challenges with the liquid molding process is manufacturing parts that are completely void free. Whether you're hand mixing and pouring your resin, or filling a detailed cavity with dispensing equipment, the resulting part will more than likely contain air bubbles. One of the most effective ways to alleviate this problem is to utilize pressure casting. The X11 uses a combination of both heat and pressure to completely eliminate the air or to compress it down to microscopic size so that it's no longer visible in your parts. Now before we move on with the demonstration, let's take a look at some of the unique features of this particular unit. The X11 is 14 inches in diameter and has an overall length of 24 inches. The steel tank is rated for 110 PSI at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It is horizontally designed with mounting brackets both front and back for securing the chamber to a portable cart or bench top. The cover features a pressure gauge, an industrial standard air stud, and a quarter turn ball valve with a safety pressure relief valve. Exclusive to HAPCO's molding chambers is an ergonomically designed hinge arm that allows for easy opening and closing. Inside the chamber, there is an 11 by 18 inch removable steel casting shelf, and mounted directly below the shelf is a 250 watt heating element and fan unit for circulating the heat evenly throughout the tank. The temperature is controlled externally by a digital control box mounted on top. The chamber is fully insulated to maintain temperature and save energy. For our demonstration today, we're going to be using our Ultra Clear 465 material to show the difference between casting parts in an open air environment versus pressure casting in our X11 molding chamber. We've just completed hand mixing and pouring our material into two clear plastic containers. And as you can see, there is a significant amount of air in the resin. We're going to let one container cure here on our table and the other will place inside the X11 chamber. Fasten down our clamps. use an ordinary adjustable wrench to make sure the unit is fully sealed. We'll attach our air hose to the inlet valve. On normal applications we recommend air pressure between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. In this case we'll compromise at 75 psi. I don't hear any leaking, the tank is fully sealed, we'll let our parts cure in here, come back and see the results. As you can clearly see, the material cured at room temperature is full of air, while the material cured in our X11 is crystal clear and completely void free.